I will see you now in the live thing. <laughs> it should take about 30 seconds. Meanwhile, the downward. Yes, it, it's a game. Um, welcome to hopefully we're live with a big old review stream. <laughs> And with me, his pool is closed. And I still don't know if we're live. We're live. It's we're live. live. Very good. Okay, so this is Downward. I've streamed this before, but it released fairly recently. Um, but I don't believe you've encountered this yet, have you, Paul? I have not. Right, well, you're, you're in for uh, an interesting time. Uh, have you encountered Prince of Persia? Yes, but only the, the the 3D ones, not the old 2D ones. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, I was specifically referring to the 2008 Prince of Persia. Yes. Yes. Um, so there have been some improvements. Uh, for example, we see some lovely smoke animation here in this text crawl intro. Uh, and we will also be seeing a change in voice actors since last time. Uh, but we have the same dream sequence. Oh, what oh, is boy. this place? Oh, my favorite Where part am of I? fiction everywhere. Dream sequences. Yeah. Dream sequences with parkour. <laughs> You're all the way down. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even... <laughs> oh my god. I know. Oh, must be dreaming. Was, I thought we were going to eat some curb there. Yeah, um... That's an anomaly. So we don't know what anomalies are yet. Uh, at least partly because our protagonist already knows what an anomaly is. Uh, although, you know, j just jumping into an anomaly doesn't right. seem... Uh, doesn't seem very sensible. No, it definitely doesn't. Yeah. But, you know, the, these ones are apparently all jumpy anom uh, yeah, anomalies. Words. I'm good you know, at them. My favorite thing is uh, first person platforming. Oh, first person platforming. I know, right? It, it's the absolute best, except. No. <laughs> um, and indeed this game is a first-person parkour game uh, in a alternate universe where we haven't actually been given the original text crawl uh, for that. Uh, there is another YouTube video which I will link when I upload this VOD to YouTube, etc, etc. Um, now, uh, while this is loading, I can check the stream chat. It's very quiet, that's fine. Hello. The screen video is nice. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lovely, um, I think it actually is a concept painting. And not, uh, and not for example, um, oh god, do, do you remember that thing where uh, they would use filters that to... That was a bad fall. Um, where did I end up? Turn sprites into weird vectors. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked a little bit like that, but it probably is actually concept art. And yeah, this character is very different. Um, however, certain things have remained the same. Uh, this is a collectathon game. And, um,. Yeah. One of the things we're collecting is artifacts of the before times. Was that someone talking? It's oh, possible so we're post there's still someone alive down here. Yes, we, we are post-apocalyptic uh, and also post-human. And also it's, uh, as I recall, the original story was 1252 AD? 1252. I see. Oh, wow. That is a sky piece. Is the frame dropping happening in-game? Hey, hey. Uh... 
No, the the frame dropping, unfortunately, is probably me. Uh. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, uh, here are not light seats. They're definitely not light seats. <laughs> they definitely don't unlock powers. Oh, this is new. Some kind of checkpoint button? Oh, 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 shit! And death. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, luckily, all the sky pieces we collected. Uh, well, actually, that's a lie. We we are actually we've lost sky pieces. We we've lost light seeds. And no, they what do we do with the light seeds when we're not losing them? Uh, well, that will eventually be shown. Uh. But for now, my goodness, how enthralling it is to, to be collecting them. And to hear this very youthful um, bandaged Parker gentleman um, you grunt, and, uh, grunt and strain in a very youthful way. I think some people are pretty into that, but it misses out on something when you do it a bunch of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So here is the bell of checkpointing. I probably involves nano machines or something. Uh, and that was a real person. I can I can hear her, but, but why can't I see her? And it's nice to know that our protagonist is confused. Um, okay, uh, no force tutorial this time. Very good. Uh, holding down space normally lets you chain moves. And they have, in fact, made sure it works this time. There were problems with that in early access. The area design at least looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a variety of things. Uh, very um, th there are some Greek elements, and no, I couldn't make that jump. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you'll lose a portion of your sky pieces. I I'm sorry, I I I can't. They're light seeds. <laughs> They're bloody light seeds. You use them to buy abilities. Uh, uh okay. Yeah. Uh, our, our main resource for production <laughs> in this game. Yeah, um... Unfortunately, uh, we have encountered these fountains without yet knowing what they do. And, yeah, uh, it is a very handy lantern. Uh, unfortunately, its only use is to sell for more not light seeds. Oh, so we even get vendor trash in yeah. this game. Yeah. How it's... much inventory management? None. Okay, so at least, at least it can be redeemed on that feature. Yeah. Uh... Oh, hello. This is new. Uh, this... They've shifted things around and introduced less explanation. Huh. Um, so there are three planets. Uh, and they do things. Do we visit them? Hmm? Portal. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so we're on Planet Gamma now, maybe? Or is uh, it the, the planet has given us floating rocks. Whoa. Yeah. 
uh, sudden uh, color scheme shift makes it a little bit higher than uh, makeup. Let me show you how to use the mark. Oh, whoa, great. Somehow this power was already within you. Uh, the rest is up to you. Now go on. That sounds Hold on paint. a minute. Now, who yeah. Paint? And why are you helping me? Oh, no. Hey, hey, are you still there? Ugh. Wow, uh, I- I thought I would be okay. Yeah, um, th that should get explained, but at the same time, um, yeah, I- I thought the protagonist being more clueless. Uh, no, we're- we're, um, like I said, it- it will be explained. It- it is sort of a person? Oof. Um. Right. And yeah, th this mark ability uh, comes in. Well, in early access, it came in two flavors. Uh, you can put put a mark down using energy, or you can teleport to it using energy. Those are your two flavors. Okay. Um, so it's portal. Yeah, it, it's a portal for when you inevitably screw up, but don't want to you yeah lose light seeds. I'm I'm words and good today. It's all right. Everybody's got their good words today. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are the turrets of crystal crystal lasering. Thankfully, uh, all you have to do is find the uh, mysteriously powering crystal, which I disabled. <laughs> nice. Uh, and yeah, that that. Is this game also VR? <clears throat> yes, it is. So they rip your first-person perspective away from you. Un. Like, as a little... Shit, I hadn't thought of that. A little bit of puzzle tutorial. Yeah, oh uh, god, well, that's... Well, for me, I, I always think of it mm -hmm. because of simulation sickness, so... Blah. Blah. Lost all of our teeth. And, um... On that wall. Yeah, we, we're... Yeah, there we go. No, not there we go. We're, we're screwing this up, young man. We're screwing this up repeatedly. This is not fun. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Be careful. Congratulations. The area in front of you is protected by a golem. Right. That sound good. Yeah. Uh, golems. They were a big feature of the early access. Um. And they're a thing. For sure. A thing? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't sound promising. You're not selling this one. Well, to be fair, the golems aren't selling it either. They're, they're crystal rock <laughs> things. Now, at the moment, we can do exactly nothing. What? We have to lure it into attacking. And Yep, there we go, there we go. Oh, wait, no. No, that wasn't quite. We also have a dash. Uh, we can dash four times. It does slowly regenerate. Yeah, um, so you may have noticed that crystal. Hmm. That's... I'm assuming it's a glowy red spot, so we need to hit it to defeat this black box. Uh, well, actually what we have to do is, uh, get the damn thing to do a jumping attack. Oh, come the hell on. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. That was how you do it. You you literally wait.
Oh yeah. It, it's it's not the most fun. Huh. That wasn't so tough after all. The no. dry artifact that you gain is a powerful energy source. At least you get a pretty few heads of this purposes. Yeah. Use it to open that door. You can add that to your rock collection. Yeah, yeah, I've I've got a very good rock collection and um Oh boy. Downward. Um So good. the wall's vanishing. That's what our that's what our cubes are for. This is another aspect of the collectathon. Good. The wall's vanishing. So how how many more goals are you forced to fight? Uh I remember in the earlier stream about nine or ten at least. And they're all pretty much the same. Same fight? The same fight, different materials. Hmm. Some later on are made of well, wood. It worked. How do you know all this stuff? And where oh, are that you? rare, rare material that should not be found in this future, despite all the streets. Find many more of them in this area. Make sure to have as many sky pieces as you can before seeking power from the statue. Okay, level up. The cactus going vertically. Yeah, um, funnily enough, uh, you can actually, uh, get injured from the cactus. It would take forever for you to kill yourself on a cactus, but you can do it. And here we go, leveling up. Mmm. Ouch. Uh... Most of these are quality of life things. So, for example, less sky pieces lost after death. Um, a, a sky pieces multiplier. Um, no. Oh, our, our rock collection can whisper to us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Every time you're close, you hear whispers. Um, these are really the only ones that I'm worried about. Passage, where fast travel points are unlocked. Altar, uh, which allows you to switch. That one's a little pointless, but deals, collected items, you get more, not light seeds. Um, focus, that's your, uh, your dashing... Uh, life, damage reduced, yeah, 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 yeah. So, there's nothing we're really learning today from the lovely statue lady. Yeah, none of these they're super compelling, and I'm not sure I want the, the rat collection to whisper to me too much. Well, you sort of do. Good. The wall's vanishing. Ah, yes. Um... Right, okay, I'm, I'm gonna place a mark. A little skull on a stick. Because what we're having to do... <laughs> oh my god, that was too close. Um... Yeah, holding down space, I only just made that. Uh, uh, we meet at last. Really tight. I can finally see you. Mm. Thanks for guiding me around back there. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That's a really her. close planet or moon right over there. Uh, How's that not just stinky bird? Uh, there, stinky bird. there are three. What? Um, <laughs> you, you are a puppet. Oh. Okay, great. I'm a puppet. Yeah, uh, yeah, listen, I don't understand what's going on. Super close planet. What are you doing here? This is one of the best spots to oh. be. We had a great citadel, a treat to the eyes. It was built after the apocalypse, you know. Just surviving was enough back then. Nobody dreamed that they would ever build again, you know? But here, uh, uh, they did it, and they accomplished more than what you see here. <laughs> so, I live on the coast below. Why don't you come for a visit, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's the traitor! <laughs> Took a while to find him there. Yeah. 
Yeah, just a little bit. He was, uh... He was hiding well. He Compliments on his hiding. You'd think if you were running a shop, maybe you'd want to hang out a shingle. Well, he... he sort of did. He... he... oh, hey! A dry piece! Well, nobody needs it. Um... Uh, you, you can maybe tell that I, I'm not very fond of all this collecting. How could you not be fond of collecting rock? I don't understand. I... Oh, yes. Uh, meditations allow you to do challenges. Um... There, there is, in fact, a challenge mode where you do separate parkour stuff, and for a while, uh, a lot of the updates were weekly challenges. Um, but yeah, there, there is a lot of collecting in this game, and as we've seen from the power-ups, um, collecting the not light seeds, not that terribly useful. Um... Oh, also. jump down the cliff into the ocean. Yeah, I was thinking about that, and I have saved, but I, I would like just to be sure to remember where the hell a fountain is. Ah, no. Sod it. I've used the bell of major checkpointing. I will do this thing. Yeah. These tips are giving... Yes, us a bad work, traveler. We need to meet as soon as possible. You will find me in the shrine on the top of that cliff. There I will answer your questions. I'm tired now. Until then, I will break our bond. Good luck. Ugh. Wait, the shrine on top of which cliff, lady? There, there's one... It's just nothing... <laughs> there's a lot of cliffs! <laughs> it's all cliffs. It's all cliffs! We might have just run past him and thrown ourselves into the sea. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that, uh, oh, hey, there we go. Okay. We have an objective, and it's up there somewhere? No, if I do, I would just cliff. Hmm. Sure there are better ways to describe this landscape. Oh, we're jumping off of it anyway. Yeah. Um. Hi, he's not here. He should have been here. This is normally where we would find uh, Trader Joe. That's what I'm going to call him, regardless of his accuracy. I mean, there, there are lots of old men called Joe, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, floating around. Oh! Today. So, there's your main variation. The, the cube is in a different place. Unfortunately, we still can't pick it up until it's blue. Uh, uh, oh, oh no. Yeah. But the the music's very dramatic. Pretty dramatic for something consistent with waiting for an attack. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Oh wait, he's got two cubes. Yeah. One's in his own tape. Yeah. Oh, wow. I suddenly feel so much better about the wait- No, wait, no, I don't feel so much better about the waiting. <laughs> At least it didn't rip away your perspective to swirl around. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm also out of, um, out of dodge juice. Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm just gonna have to rely on circle strafing, which has mostly worked fine. <laughs> oh. 
What do you mean, like, make him look significantly different in any respect besides no. another can I, can I get his other one? No! I didn't get his other one. I also... Yeah. Wow. Okay. That That's... Yes. Very good. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I it, it wasn't so much a ground pound for a second there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't know if it, if this if, if this rock formations just occur in midair, if you would call them still or still Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's coming from the golem. Uh, that would just be rock tumors. It's not a rock tumor. <sighs> Come on, old man. Oh no. Now this is just embarrassing. Are you actually stuck inside of the arena or can you like No no I, I I can leave any time I want. It's finally God, good boy. I think he just wants to be friends. Well, he could certainly work on his hugs. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't mastered the handshake detail either. Yeah. Oh, he just went flying. Mm, yeah, that's a good point actually. Well, either way, um, it is finally time to move forward, and one of the things we're hopefully going to do moving forward is. Well, providing they haven't changed it since early access. I, I mean, they changed the voice actors, the uh, some of the fights. They they gave golems more than crap. There's also these guys. They they're mines. They're robot mines. You know what I like in games? This is mines. Just yeah. Piles of mines. Nothing is as fun as being blown up constantly. Yeah, I... I uh, th this is the weird part about this game. The, the parkour is not actually bad. I, I mean, you know, it's not great, but it's not bad. There we go. I think my extremely controversial opinion is first person platforming of any type is kind of inherently flawed. No, I I agree with you, but it's it's better than, you know, like a lot of things. A, a lot of attempts even. It wasn't so bad. Um so anyway, the the thing we got it's blue. What have we seen that's blue? It looks like the light gates. Well, it looks a little like the light gates, but unfortunately, uh, the things that set off the light sure. gates are definitely the, um... the dry cubes that whisper to us. Good. We don't know why they whisper to us, but they do. Um... Yeah, here's our, um, our anomaly. Yeah. And the uh, blue thing is that that blue spindle is what allowed us to interact with these anomalies. Oh, okay. So, we've actually got several levels of gatekeeping here. Uh, progress gatekeeping, that is, not, you know, kind of... Herder, you can't play this gatekeeping. Um, the dry cubes are what you need to unlock things. Uh, these light gates. And if I go down here and probably get blown up by both these mines. 
Oh wow, they kill you this time. Okay. Um, they are actually. At least ring the bell. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they are actually quite easy to avoid. And you can turn them off from behind. Uh, but hopefully this light gate. I guess I'll come back later. Yeah, we need five more dry cubes to open this door. I feel like the gears on the mines are strictly decorative. Uh, they definitely feel that way, don't they? Yeah. It's um, like if you bought your landmines on Etsy. Yes, it's opening. You can buy landmines on Etsy? Mm -hmm. Damn! I mean, I assume someone in this universe... <laughs> is fucking That's why the gears just kind of, I don't know, hot loot on. On. Yeah, um, I don't know, I, I'm gonna go with the more likely theory that it, it it's a bit like steampunk. They're just there. The gears make it go faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah! Everybody knows that gears make it go faster. Um, and of course... Is that a... Is that, a, is that sewer cap back, back there that the start of the mandatory sewer level of parkour? Uh, it's funny you mention that, actually. Let me, uh, let me fall back down to it. You have such sights to show up. Us. Oh, we... We won't need sewer grates where we're going. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Who could have predicted this? That dry cube was floating in midair. Who could have predicted that? Oh my. <laughs> oh no. I regret everything. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the, uh, the dramatic music is, uh, distant sensitive! <laughs> Alright, what's next? Oh, no! Oh, no! He's waiting for you. He really is. It's being polite to keep him waiting forever. It, well, it would, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 crap! Now we, oh wait, never mind, never mind, it's okay, he's only got one. <laughs> I'd love to meet the guy who built this. I'm like, I think like a five second delay from you, so you all, oh crap, and I'm like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Unfortunately, these bells do not repair your health. <laughs> the fountains do. <laughs> so, so we can use bells as magical resurrection points, but they definitely don't do surgery. No. Uh, me meanwhile, the fountains are obviously the famed fountain of life. I, I mean, that's obvious. I, I don't know how anyone could come There's to any different conclusion. Life. Yeah. All right, got it. And the frescoes. Uh, we we can jump on the frescoes because no, that that's just standard game design and is actually one of the good points. They are highlighting where you can actually do things. Always good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there are lots of greats, and, and funnily enough, at least one of them goes underground. No. Oh. Is there a golem under there right afterwards? 
Well, thankfully not, but there is a spooky skull. Oh man, I've never seen anything like this before. I had to take this to Strange that old crazy skull. man. Don't you dare, mortal! You I think somebody no just idea. put a tea light you underneath it, with. that's all. Whoa! You can speak? I didn't know you were... Uh, whatever you are. I'm, I'll just... I'll leave you alone. No big deal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was, um, not very polite of me. My name was... Oh, Wait, boy. What was, was it again? again? Morte. <laughs> yeah. I was a great astrologist. Perhaps the greatest for generations. <laughs> Something horrible. A long time ago, I was studying the power of the three planets, <sighs> and I was torn apart and scattered around. There must have been some lingering force left which keeps me here. I don't know, really. You, you seem to be an honest fellow. Would you do me a favor and help me find my bones? I will reward you for every piece. I mean, I guess I can look around for you. Uh, you got any idea where to start? Nope. I was really scattered here and there. Okay, great. So, nothing. Uh, I guess I'll do what I can. Many thanks. My current condition is truly fascinating. A marvel beyond comprehension, but not most comfortable, you see. Well, to later then. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's another layer of collecting. We're, we're gonna grab this old guy's bones and, and I can't even finish that sentence <laughs> I mean the bone collector was okay yeah yeah I guess oh. the dialogue could have used an editor um, it, it could have used a razor or three yes or five of course, you know, we also stole from his rock collection, so... Well, you know, we, we need to push all of these strange buttons and collect all these gears and... Um, meditate at all these weird pillars. Uh, and open gates and... We've got a severe case of protagonitis. Yeah, we... Was there a reason we were meant to care, though? I actually have been asking myself if I missed something in the prologue that d describes why we're doing all of these things. Well, even in the early access, I am afraid you would be disappointed. Um, the story doesn't come until you reach the temple, which, uh, how long have we been streaming? Let me alt-tab and find out. Usually you kind of have a strong idea of your motivation for being insane um, pretty early on in the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, 40 minutes, and we have yet to meet the mysterious lady with the voice. Uh, last time I tried this, I vaguely recall it ended up being something like an hour and a goddamn half before we even got to the temple. So, a minimum of an hour and a half, probably for most people, two hours or more before they find out why? Not why even, not even why. Um, oh wait, what's... Just how? Not even that, J just introduced okay. to what the lady in the temple might be. Um, spoilers, there is post-humanism. Um, and lady is the temple. Or rather, um, the, these meditation things are also the lady. And yes, unfortunately, I am dropping frames like crazy, but yeah, uh, Downward doesn't appear to have changed very much. Um, we, we could go and get one of those abilities. We could see if the shopkeeper's finally goddamn there. Um, and we could indeed try and get to the temple to... Oh, I see. No, wait, I don't see. He was... 
Um, but not enough has really changed to change my review perspective. Um, e even with the voice actor change, with the intro change, uh, with the fact that some golems have more than one cube now, it's... it's still Prince of Persia 8. <laughs> I don't know, Prince of Persia had a lot of charm to it. Welcome to my place. Nice and comfy. This looks good, but so One far, not very charming. Spots. No. It's rather safe here. Yes, I guess. You know, I was starting to think that I was crazy back there, but compared to you, I'm doing okay. Oh, no, no, <laughs> now, no, I'm bad. I'm a busy person. Let's trade. What do you have? What do you have for me? Bad. Um, so yeah, this is literally all your collecting is doing. So I think it's fairly, fairly safe to say. Um, downwards, uh, not really recommended. <clears throat> yeah. I'm definitely not hooked. Yeah, um, we shall be back in about five minutes with, um, ooh, tough call. Um, Children of Zodiacs, yeah, that's a good choice for the next one. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you when we're back.